What's up creators, welcome back to another video, and if this is your first time here, my name is Josh Luciano. I post videos weekly from video tutorials, behind the scenes shoots, to interviews, and some vlogging. So if that's the type of content that you're into, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. Hit the little bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. Let's do it. I'm gonna go over a few reasons as to why you should not put emotions and analytics together. Number one, it can kill your creativity. For example, if you're a YouTuber and you start seeing your channel growth go down, your subscriber count staying stagnant, don't let the negative comments, let negative feedback and negative results mess up your creativity. And that's hard, and yes, I get it, we're human. You know, it happens, you know, we all go through our situations, but it's the idea of always being positive and putting out what you feel is awesome so that you can feed it to the world and into the universe. You could use myself as, as an example. I came back four months ago with like 120 subscribers through a creative rut. I actually have a video on that. I'm gonna post it up either in the description box or maybe a card somewhere up here. I just didn't wanna create anything. I felt like I didn't have the right gear. I didn't have the right space. I couldn't do anything. That took me to a really, really bad little funk and I'm glad that I got out of it. Now, you don't have to be a YouTuber to go through this whole analytic and emotion thing. Um, you can have a business Business, you can be in school you can be involved in anything and, and I know it's hard to not add emotion to something that you're passionate about but this is something that I think is important and I think it'll help you as a creator there's always gonna be negativity coming your way since I think it was like a few weeks ago I had like my first troll yes I had my first troll super awesome I was actually really pumped about this because I've been waiting for it for a while uh, but now I actually had one which was awesome and he left some negative comments and you know what I did I just responded back friendly he kept responding back negatively. I just kept responding back friendly and until he stopped. And you know what? It was cool. It was like my first troll. That was a that was a good time. Yeah, it was it was fun. Another example is my friend Jay Rosado. He actually plays for Lauren Hill. Here's his Instagram. You can check him out. He's always traveling and on live and all that stuff. Uh, but um, yeah, he you know he was in high school and he didn't really go to high school. He was just like practicing every day base. And I remember those days, I was just like, man, this kid, you know, I know eventually he was going to end up playing with like big artists just because of his work ethic and his practice and just how he was as a person and a musician. He didn't give up. A lot of people were very negative at the fact that, you know, he was going to high school, but wasn't really in high school. He was practicing. And to me, I was just like, you know, he's following his passion. Like, that's really awesome. And then, yeah, now he's playing with Lauren Hill and pff, he's doing awesome. And as a matter of fact, his wife is my friend Coral who actually I did the curly hair photo shoot. And if you haven't seen that yet, I'm gonna link it here or there, I think there. Yeah, I'll, I'll link it there. And you know, check it out at the end of the video. Go ahead, check that video out. That was fun, we had a ton of fun doing that shoot. Might be doing another one soon. So the second reason why I think you should never put your emotions with analytics is the fact that you'll end up focusing on the numbers and not the people. Me being a YouTuber and you guys out there in the YouTube verse, you know, sometimes we tend to focus on the numbers and really it's just about the people. Th those that have decided to hit the subscribe button, those are human beings. Those are people that are engaging with your content that think that you have something of value to give to them. And it's up to you and me to put out valuable information for them. Now, I do have a goal by January to reach a thousand subscribers. It's it's been an awesome journey just being able to almost reach that but that shouldn't always be the most important thing to worry about it's really about creating content for you guys what I like about this channel is that you guys have been super supportive and also giving me a lot of feedback even on Instagram now what I've been doing is processing all that information so I can put together something better for you guys in every video now if you don't follow me on Instagram feel free to follow me it's at Josh Luciano and definitely you can reach out to me there but before I end this video I'm definitely interested in hearing your story has there been a situation where you started it's something that you're passionate about and you gave up because of maybe a negative situation a negative comment you know negative emotion because of results and you're looking at the return any of that stuff feel free to comment below we'd love to hear your story maybe there's something I can provide for you guys or anyone down below in the community can maybe give you encouragement so yeah quick video just wanted to get my thoughts out there my goal especially for coming into 2019 is really to focus more on the content keep getting better at it pushing it to you guys taking your feedback and processing it and just putting it out there into the universe all that good stuff really pumped about 2019 there's a there's a ton of stuff happening in 2019 and I can't wait for you guys to see it because it's gonna be awesome also you digging this little like light action I got going on here a little little light action I like that. I don't know I was trying to do something different just because it's not like a gear review or anything like that so so thanks for watching this video and again if you're new here and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button below hit that bell notification stay awesome be positive keep creating be fresh and also I'll see you in the next video